everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Create With Me. I finally got the chance to um, to think up something that we could work on today, and this is what I've come up with. Now, I this is not my idea. This was um, inspired by Tracy Fox. You guys know Tracy. She's, um, she's here on YouTube. She does some amazing digitals and, pro, you know, projects on her channel. Um, and she came up with this free folio idea. And what it is, is it's taking some of our packaging, um, if you order off of Amazon, um, a lot of things will come in these little boxes. Um, so she came up with a really clever idea to um, upcycle this. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, today's project is a design team project for my porch prints, and I'm using... Um, Stephanie's kit, which is the butterfly collage papers, and I'll just show you guys very quickly what these papers look like. They are beautiful. I don't think I've printed out everything. These um, they come in two uh, downloads, and the other one's a bit darker. Uh, I was trying to think if I've got it handy. I've printed it, but I think I've set it to the side. But you get. Um, all of these images. I love this one with the turquoise. That is beautiful. So that is what we're going to be working with today. So I have not thought this through. <laughs> um, I just thought, oh, uh, if I wait until I get my brain cells working enough to think the whole project through, uh, we will never get started. So we're just going to jump in, guys, and try to um, to get back into the flow of creating because I will tell you straight up, I have been wandering around in my little cube because my studio is is a cube, <laughs> and I have just been roaming around in here for three days. I just cannot seem to pull it together. I mean, I managed to get the two journals done, but um, other than that. It's just been very, very difficult for me. Um, okay, so I think what I better do is start off with the outside, and then because I don't know how much we're going to get get to. Let me just take this label off quickly here. Um, yeah, I don't know how long this will take to complete because, as I said, I have not even thought this through. The, the, um, I'm sure it will come together as we start creating because you know that tends to be what happens with me. Okay, so that's going to be the front. So let me start off by getting... I want that image... I want this to be on the front here, so I'm going to just start working with that. Now I've got my little ruler here. A lot of people have asked me about this ruler. Um, this is a metal ruler. I love it, but unfortunately it's not yet available in the U.S. But what is available is a um, We Are Memories. Memory, uh, yeah, We Are Memory Keepers. I think that's it. Um, they've got something, a three-piece set, and I've got it listed in my um, Amazon storefront. So if you're looking for one, you can click on the link below. I've got my link to my Amazon storefront there, and it's it's within that. And you can look at, at that and see. Um, but as soon as this comes available... I'll add that to my shop because it, it, these are really nice. They give a nice decorative edge. This is the only thing. It gets a little bit tricky when you're just tearing a small strip. But um, Okay, so... I like that, but I almost feel like I need to first put something on here. So here we go. Let me see what we can come up with. <coughs> so 
some tissue paper maybe. I don't know why I feel the need to do this. I just, I don't know. Do I really need to do that? Mm. I'm just trying to think how. You know what I'll do? Here's what we'll do. We're going to gesso. That always helps the situation. <laughs> when all else fails, get out your gesso. <laughs> Let's do that and see if that will help. Because I really don't want to um, put a tissue paper over this. I don't I don't know. So yes, you can see how this is going to go, can't you? It's already... Um, I just think this might be a very slow project, guys. But we'll persevere and get over this funk together. <laughs> it's really strange because when I stop... And I guess it's just the way I'm made. When I stop, I find it so difficult to relax into not doing anything. You know, it's like when you go on vacation, it's just that period. I'm sorry for bumping that camera. Um, that period of you just, you know, you're, you're not working and you really don't know what to do with yourself. And I really do find it takes me three or four days just to unwind now and it's really strange because this is something fairly new. I used to be able to switch off to things but I suppose my life was was less complicated during that time but now it's um, I really do find it very difficult to switch off and then now on the other hand you know I mean I was so excited because I was I didn't get much time I mean I think you guys could tell I wasn't active really on social media because, well, it's obvious I wanted to spend time with, with uh, my son. But every now and then, you know, I just have a quick look or something. And I got so excited thinking, oh, yeah, this, this, this. I can't wait to get back in here. And, of course, I, I was. I was really missing everybody because, um, you know, it's just become, becomes your life, doesn't it? And... Particularly for me over here, um, you know, I've, I've got Paul, but there's not a lot of, um, because of our lifestyle, you know, we haven't had a lot of chance to make a lot of friends with moving around. So this has become my life, you know, and it's... Um, you get quite excited about getting back in here and and doing it, but gosh, it's hard. It's really hard for me to get back into it because um, once you switch off. But I like I said, I know by next week I'll be back in full full force. You know, <laughs> I hope. But. So yeah, I've got many, many journals started, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of thinking the ones I've started, I'm not really feeling it, so I might just put those on the back burner for now and start a couple other things. Um, there's a couple of... Um, fabric journals I'd like to work with. I want to go back to some smaller journals. I really do enjoy the little mini journals, so I might do some of those. And then um, I have been doing a couple of little smaller projects for the shop. Um, I did some fabric ruffles and added those, and then I did some little fabric tags that had been um, little snippet collages with vintage but buttons on them. So I've added those, and that, I really enjoyed that. So I might get back to doing just a few more. I'd like to get some more of my uh, 
fabric postcards in the shop and get those created. And then, oh, I don't know, I thought about maybe doing a few ornaments, fabric ornaments. So, I don't know, really. I'm kind of, um, this is what I'm saying, you know, my mind is just kind of all over the place at the moment and trying to, you know, focus in on one thing. It, it'll come to me, though. It, it usually does. I just, just got to go through the motions until it does. I think everybody goes through this because I know I see a lot of people post, oh, I've lost my mojo. and It's, it's not really that I've I'm struggling creatively. It's it's I'm struggling to focus on which you know project to do because <laughs> I've got so many. Um, but that's that's just how I work. Okay, I don't know. Is it worth doing that inside? Probably. Let me just slap a little bit in here on that just in case. In case I needed this. I've got a couple of swaps this this month, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I've got to crack on with those. Um, so I'm excited about that. But um, like I said, it's just it's just getting myself in gear and getting going again. I've, I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, in my in response to my comment about the hot summer, it really sounds like everybody's suffering with it and um, it's quite alarming really that the weather has, has gotten like this in places that normally are pretty cool in the summer, but yeah, I don't know. It's, and yesterday we watched the news <coughs> last night here, and uh, they've had flooding in the northern part of the UK, uh, or northern England, I should say. I don't know if Scotland was getting any um, flooding. I didn't see that, but the northern part of um, England was was hit quite bad, so that's such a shame. It was really devastating to see the interview on the people because, um, gosh, what a disruption to have everything that you've, you know, meant anything to you just washed away. It's terrible. I feel so sorry for those people. I really cannot imagine what they must be going through. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side because I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I... Yeah, I've been wanting to do one of these ever since I saw Tracy's um, tutorial on this. So I'm just trying to see if that's going to look... I think that's going to look really nice because I can come back and add some ink to that after everything's completely dried, so I'm quite happy with that, actually. These papers are just beautiful. I'm really loving the style that... Um, I better put some different glue on that. I'm really loving what... Um, you know, where the digital designs are going with the collaging because um, I just think these they're really fresh papers. Um, I don't know, they just uh, really speak to me. I must get on with some uh, elements for some journals too, but there again, it's one step at a time. i got to get the journal thought out. Sorry, I've gone off camera, guys. This is... Yeah, I don't know if that 
that's going to have worked really well. Oh, I so don't like Mod Podge. I'm just trying to use it up because um, I'm totally switching over to this Collage Podge. I just have no luck with this stuff at all. It just wants to wrinkle. I get so frustrated with this. Look at that. It's not even sticking. Okay. Yeah, that's going to bug me. Let me see if I can press that out because I do not like wrinkles. with a little bit of heat. Yeah, I like that. I think that's going to be really pretty. And then I want to see if this is going to cover. I may have to add... Let me see if that... If I get that torn, that might cover that back. Let me see. So like I said, we're probably going to have to do this over several videos. It'll just be a little project that we're working on. Because um, that is, you know, I don't know how I'm going to... I know I want to add a journal to it um, for some writing space for sure. I'll start thinking through what elements to add to it because inside there's a lot we can do with that. Um, if we add a, a journal to it and then <clears throat> the other side, I'm not too sure. I know a lot of people have been making these. I just haven't had time except to watch Tracy's. Um, maybe I'll get a chance to see some other videos tonight and get some ideas on what we could do inside, but like I said, I know I want to make like a, kind of like a TN size journal inside of it, and I think it'd be pretty to have a metal plate on that, a book plate on the front too. wonder if I could run this through the machine, but then again, probably not because I've got this. If I were to run it through there, I've got those, so I won't. I won't do that. It probably would be too much on the machine, anyways. Okay, so inside, what we'll probably just get done today is covering covering these things. That's going to be really pretty if I can get that on there. Sorry guys, I've got my camera mount right here in the center. <laughs> And it's uh, really tricky to work around that thing. I'm considering going to the... Um, I've been using my camera for videoing 
<clears throat> and I'm thinking about going over to a phone. Because I can get a mount that's flexible. The one I've got's not, which is such a shame because I haven't I haven't had it that long. But um, you know, these things you just learn as you're going along, but I'm not really happy with with the setup at the moment. It's I'm just finding it really difficult to work around and you know that's not good because if it's too much, it just puts you off from even getting on here. I don't want that either. Okay, I'm happy. I think that's going to be really pretty there. So let me get this. Gosh, yeah, I'll be glad when this Mod Podge is gone. <laughs> glue, glue, glue. That is... Uh, The troubles that we get from glues, goodness. Fine and the perfect one, but I'm I really do like the collage podge that is probably the nicest one I've worked with. Well, it's not straight, but that's the problem with working over at this angle. But I'm actually fine with that, maybe. It might actually be nicer not to have it so so straight because of all of the, you know, it's not a perfect uh, shape or anything, so I think that's going to be fine. Okay, so this, let's see how I want to do this. a bit of that underneath. I think that's going to look nice. Okay, let's see. Just kind of mix it up here a bit. I was kind of thinking in my mind, maybe some, because uh, I, I want the journal here, and I still haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that, because I possibly was thinking, how nice would it be to make it like an elastic, like a TN, that way you could replace it in this could be reused. So that's where I'm kind of going with this. Um, but that could change. But that's my thoughts. So if that was the journal here, when it flipped over, I was thinking maybe you could have um, like a couple, a CD case or something. But this is the part I'm a little bit unsure. Because I want this to be used. But I think what I'll do here is, is pockets like a couple of pockets and maybe they'll flip out because these I want to have these tie so that it's kind of a finished if that's making any sense whatsoever <laughs> I hope this is oh I feel so out of it guys I really really do I'm hoping this is making sense So, I'll let those 
dry and then I'll come back and uh, crease those so that they can open without any issue there. So we'll carry on over here get something on this one. Let me get a bit more gesso because I can see now that I'm going to want that with a bit of gesso on there. I really like actually now, I'm glad I did it. I did do that because I think that, I think that's looking nicer with a bit of that on the background. paper down here <coughs> and then I might go back over to the front and see yeah we'll just try to get it covered I think today because oh I tell you what guys sorry I'm almost out of time let me just stop and I'll be right back okay guys sorry about that I uh, just didn't realize how much time I'd been been on here. So I'm just going to put this down here and then I've decided I'll use the remainder of that page. Oh, I see I haven't gessoed that. Okay. All right. Sorry, you're going to have to see me do this. I know this is becoming very boring. Um, but yeah, I better get a bit on here because this is definitely going to show. But it's real life, isn't it? This is how we we have to go through this when we're creating something. I do love projects like this where you can find a use for something that just normally would just end up in a recycling bin. And I, I think this, if I can make it work, as a reusable, like a TN, I think that's going to be really cute because the binder then, I mean, this cardboard will hold, hold up for quite a while. And then you could just change out the journal section. So I'm, I'm liking, I'm hoping that that's going to work out, that I can do it that way. Because I'm almost inclined to do that as the next um, <clears throat> portion of this. And then we can um, start embellishing it. But today we'll just try to carry on and get this, this part of it done. I saw Tracy's little, um, she just did a, a course for a little, um, Oh, I don't know. I think she called it an ephemera folio, or maybe just a folio. But it is absolutely adorable. The shape of it is just, oh, it's just, you just want to touch it. <laughs> it's got a really nice shape to it. And I've been thinking about um, getting that course and giving that a try, because I, I love to try different things, and it, it I just could see a lot of uses for that, because... My ephemera is everywhere, and I thought, oh gosh, it'd be nice to make one and get get that stuff a little bit bigger, better organized. I did learn my lesson on, on fussy cutting in advance, so that won't be happening again. My goodness, I've got a mess. 
with that stuff. I won't, I'm, I'll never do that again. I'll just keep them. I've got a little, um, like a file folder, and I've just started keeping all of my sheets, and I just cut out what I need and then stick it back in there. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, right now, I want to go ahead and set some eyelets, so let me grab those. I think I'll use a couple. These are some uh, We Are Memory Keepers. Because I'm nearly out of those small ones. I'll use those. Yeah. So, let me just... Make a little, a little mock, because I'm, I'm terrible about eyeballing things. Right now. Oh, now I can't see where I marked it. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, there we go. I think that's. Now is that center? I think so. We're gonna go with it. We're going with it, guys. I bought some uh, eyelets on Amazon because I told you guys I'm running out of the small ones. And uh, they arrived, and oh my gosh. This is what I wanted, right? And I measured it, and this is what I got. So uh, I just don't even know what happened there. I mean, is uh, I think they were supposed to be three sixteenths, but look at the difference in that. So yeah, I'm pretty annoyed over that. But that's what happens when you order sometimes. So, needless to say, those are those are really getting low now, so I've got to get... I, I was trying to get Jared to bring me some, but I couldn't convince him to go into Hobby Lobby for me, so, <laughs> so I'm going to have to make a trip back, I think. Got to go back to buy some eyelids. Gosh, yeah, that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Every time I think of something that i got to get, i just write it down on a list, and man, is my list getting long. I don't even know how I'm going to get everything back when I do get up there. Oh, good, that did come out. I was a little bit worried. I thought, oh, gosh, is that, that see, I like that. That's going to be, and what I think I'll do is, let's see, I'll tie that somehow so we can have a little closure there. I like that. I think that's... So here, I'm going to give some thought to <clears throat> maybe some flips. Probably, I don't, I don't know what I could do on these because they're moving. I could make a tuck with a tag, though, couldn't I? A couple of tags just sticking out might be really sweet. Okay, and then we've got to think in terms of this elastic setting a couple of eyelets for that, making a journal, and then on this back side we'll do something. So that's how it's coming. This obviously I'm going to need to put another bit of image there. Might be nice to have that with a bit of color in the dragonfly. Oh, that's a pretty one too. That might be really pretty there. Yeah, I think I look kind of leaning towards that one. Okay, let's just do that. We'll finish this off. 
and uh, hopefully I haven't bored you guys too much. And this will give you time to dig out some packaging because it doesn't have to be one of these, you know, the whole point of these um, are for you to, you know, to spark your imagination and just think about well, what you've got laying around the house that you could tweak and do something similar. And, you know, if you have to, you could even just um, get some cardstock and make a go from cardstock. So, you know, this will give you time to gather things up and think about that. Gosh, I'm going to have to take quite a lot of that. I didn't want to lose that. I love that aged look. <clears throat> Try to use some, make up some tags with these strips that I'm pulling off because I do like to keep these. They're such pretty uh, prints. I think I can make use out of that somehow there. Yeah, that looks nice because, you know, this isn't done, guys. We will come back and age it at the end, so. I know some people are probably sitting there thinking, well, why doesn't she go ahead and ink that up? I'll do that at the end. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. That's coming out pretty. Okay, lots more to do, guys. So do hang in there. <laughs> Be patient with me because yeah, I'm I'm struggling. I, I'll freely admit, it's um, I'm struggling to get back into the flow of trying to create and carry on conversation because it's it's tricky. But anyways, that's where we are so far. I think it's coming together nice. Like I said, it'll it's going to look much nicer once we've started inking this up. And, um, and who knows where it's going to go. We may even come up with some other... I may even do some, a little bit of stenciling. I don't know. It's Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea, guys. <laughs> but hang in with me and we will create something. Something that we can use. I think it's going to be nice in the end. Okay, guys, thank you so much. And I'll be back um, sh very soon with the, another, the second part of this. And who knows how many parts. But um, have a great rest of the week, guys. And I'll see you here very soon.